All right, one second, gang. Hello. Dr. Ham in the house. It sounds like some kind of horror thing, doesn't it? Dr. Ham. Oh. <coughs> See? Switch that. Do this. Do that. Um. Okay. Preparing for a big storm here today. Hello, Anvil. How are you, friendo? Welcome. We haven't seen you in chat before, but it's good to have you here first, too. Zero, hello, and fury. Why did the scarecrow become a surgeon? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. All right, <laughs> Let me don my surgical mask. I don't think that should be that loud. Yes. Prepared. Ready for surgery. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Full of beans today. Oh, see, oh wait, hang on a sec. Oh, Hank gets it. You want to see something funny, you should see Hank with the mask on. And you should see Hank do surgery with, with paws. All right, team. This game, I absolutely adore. It's a brilliant little game. Um, you play Oxymoron games. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, lots of DLCs and stuff you can get for it. Lots of, lots of replayability. Uh, there's blood, there's death, there's all sorts of quirky things. Um, and I love it. I actually, I actually adore this game. Uh, it's been out for a while now. Uh, and I did a little mini sort of playthrough series last year, I'm pretty sure it was. So, we're going to do some live streaming of it today so we can work together. I've got the gravestone up. You're doing great, Anvil? Oh, brilliant, friendo. I've got the gravestone, uh, gravestone uh, up with the counter, ready to go for when we eventually do probably lose people. At the start, we were just going to be opening up a clinic and and such and uh and expanding the clinic now <clears throat> side note it's been a while since i've played it so i've probably forgotten everything that we have to do so we're just going to work through what we can together as we can so you can see i've got all the i i went through i checked last night i was like do i have all the dlcs i have all the dlcs and i was really happy about that so we're going to go new game we're not going to go tutorials or campaign we're just going to go straight for sandbox mode so we can build our own hospital all right, now, in terms of the clinic size, a 96 by 96 empty field. Look at these, these are already small hospitals. You can get an idea of what they're like. It's a big hospital. Ooh. <clears throat> wow, look at these things. They look really good. So you can do some really cool, wonderful building stuff here as well. They should make it multiplayer. They should also, Anvil, they should also make it so it's like um, um, uh, like a tycoony sort of game where you, you're against other hospitals, a bit like um, uh, Hospital Tycoon. How you get to, you get scorecards at the end of each year, and, and it shows you like where you excel in your fields. Uh, probably a game if if we're going to be doing this that I want to get back into. Now it's kind of fitting that we're playing. Um, we're going to go empty field. We're going <laughs> to we build our own. We're going to build our own hospital, but we're going to start with the clinic. Um, patients can die. We're not unlocking all this. We have to go through and we have to pay our way. Hello, Neon. How are you, friendo? Hey, Neon, how'd you go in Space Engineers? All good? We've got to get back in there. I want to do some uh, fly around base tours of everyone's, uh, what's it, what everyone's been up to in that too. Um, but yeah, so uh, Hospital Tycoon is probably a fun one I want to get back to at some point as well. Yeah, so what I'm saying is it's quite fitting we're playing this game. Given all the medical stuff that I've had going on in the past few months, I thought, heck, why not do this? 96 by 96. Let's go. I'm going to be floating here for a second. So far, so good. Almost blew myself up Discord fire. Oh, no. Right. Luckily, in sandbox mode, we still know um, that we need to open an emergency clinic. So I think that just starts with a couple of GPs 
basically. So we're going to have to just put down... What do we got? We've got 100,000 a budget to play with to start with. Mm, okay. Okay. Right. Um, let's get down. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. Right. We got this... Um, dodgy little car park down here. Oh, you can zoom right in. I forgot how close you can zoom in. Um, that looks like an ambulance pull-up zone, which is not going to help us because I want to build over here. I want to start over here. Just It feels comfortable starting here. Although sometimes you should go outside your comfort zone, Ham. Nah, I don't care. Build where you're comfortable. All right, so we have to go into build mode. I'm going to have to lay a foundation down first. Now, what's a double door? Are they two by twos? Double glass doors, double double sliding door. Are they a two by two? I think they are. Hmm. Yeah, I think I a two by one, sorry. Um let's go um If we got a car park here, I, I kind of thinking about expanding the car park. We only have a clinic. Um, we could expand, we could just move, the, we could just expand the car park a little bit, or I can just expand to it later. Uh, where's the car park stuff, please? Car park stuff. Because that's not car park, is it? No, I'm not going to build that. Um, is this it? Is this black floor? There is bitumen here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, asphalt. Asphalt. Here we go. So if I just do this, what we'll do is we'll expand our car park just a little bit. How big is one of those? They're five. Okay. Sure. So then you would be... No, you would be, have to be here. Like that. All right. Just to add a little bit extra car park in. You're going to be there. Right there. Okay. Just to make it a little... A touch bigger. Touch. Is that the ambulance area? Do 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 Sure. Road with white lines. Is that a pedestrian crossing there? Yeah, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now, it probably does need to come in like that a little bit more, and then we can get our sidewalk. Yes, that's right. Um, Dan and Jody are off on their trip. They caught the uh, they caught their flight. Yesterday evening, my time, morning, well, it looked like midday-ish morning their time. I think it was about 10 a.m. or something, it looked like. So, Dan and Jody, safe travels, friendos. What is that? That should be just, um... Pavement? Yeah, concrete pavement. Safe travels, um, Jody and Dan. And uh, we can't wait to hear and see all about your wonderful, wonderful trip. Now, if I have, um, let's just plonk that in because I, I kind of want to get am an ambulance area in here. Now, if we're working on the premise of five by six,
No, that doesn't seem right. I think it should be more like that. I think we'll just make it like that. Mega. And then we'll just do that. And that will become our little car park. I think, you know, I'll just take some of that. We'll put a little bit of crack in there. Nope, not that much. Crack there. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay. <clears throat> it may, may or may not work like that, but whatever. Don't care. And then all I'm going to do is literally just get this around here. And voila. All right, I've already rinsed. I've already rinsed a lot of my budget. Nice parking lot. I know. We're gonna we're gonna have to treat people in the parking lot because of, I didn't realize how much I've actually spent on on just putting in two extra car spaces and an ambulance spot. All right. Shut up, BC. Also, hello, BC. How's your How's your day been? How's everyone's day been? What's going on with the weather there? I'll tell you here. We've got thunderstorms on the way today. All right, so I'm going to leave. Um, I'm going to leave a gap for gardening for the gardeners. Uh, and then we're going to have a walkway up here. <laughs> Smart Alec. Smart Alec. What's this? That's um <clears throat> interlocking pavement. Roof tiles. The roof tiles. Oh, roof tiles. Um, now, we know that our door is... We know that our door is probably like that wide, is it? Okay. So, we will do that. Okay, now the foundation. So we don't need to go nuts with the uh, with everything to start with, uh, but we're gonna go. Uh, let's say. Um. That four. Does that allow me to put the door that I want, the door of my dreams, in there? Wait, that is foundation, is it not? Is that foundation sunk into the actual... Put a wall in, maybe. Um, let's go with... Uh... Oh, let's go with a bit of a brick and, uh, and something like that. Let's just try this for a second. Is that, uh, is that, um... Right, so that does work. How come I can't have the sliding doors? Wait, they were just there. You had them. Where'd they go? What's going on? <laughs> you changed your car battery with cyber? Did some cool training? What was the training? Hello, Amy. How are you? I don't know why. It's flashed up momentarily. Oh, wait. Oh, because it's that right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I want that. Brilliant. Okay, so that works well. That's come out perfect. Exactly what I want it to do. All right, clinic done. Back to um, building out. Okay, I just want to make sure that was done. So, this will kind of be like a reception waiting area. Our actual... Okay, so we'll make this like, we'll probably put some bathrooms down here. So let's say, we might just go to like there. What's that? By six? 
Meaning that's what? That's by 10. So I want this to be another 5. Okay, just to start with. I could go all the way to there, which makes it what? 18. Okay, um, foundation's not too bad. I kind of wanted odd numbers, I think, but we'll hold out for the moment. In fact, can I get rid of that? No. Yep, okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so that's good. So then we're going to have reception desk up here, waiting area kind of in here. Wait, 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 wait. So if we say that that is four by six, seven. I'm just going to drop the mic out of my face for a sec. Four by seven. Oh, Amy, that would be quite interesting to watch. Maybe we should, um, maybe we should have a bit of a watch on, on, um, on stream together at some point. Was it, was it, uh, does it look like it's coming along pretty well, Amy? Oh, training computer stuff, BC. Fair enough. I spent, I, I probably spent about six hours last night. I had to, I had to start correlating all my breakdown of YouTube and expenses and how much I'm making and uh, getting ready for tax. And I have to give it to the people that pay my pension stuff. I have to give it to so they can see just how it offsets against my pension and everything. Oh boy. Oh boy. I tell you what, it was a lot of, I haven't done, I haven't done actual data analysis correlating of my own work for a long time like that it was some um, tables and sheets and stuff everywhere it was not exciting i do not miss that work right so the clinics themselves if we're gonna have a bit of a waiting room here the clinics themselves are gonna be actually corridors are gonna be three wide couple that with a bathroom so if we plan on having just a small bathroom in here and then maybe a um a, a, the bathroom and the um the cleaning cupboard should be together probably um and then we'll probably do something like wrong brackets button buddy um we're gonna have the doctor's clinics uh the um need and then you're going to need to go about that, right? Right. Wait, uh, yeah, just give me white wall there. Okay, that's an internal wall, yeah? White wall. And this brick's going to go down here. Okay. okay. Um, can you just have the wall set to that? Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay. So if that's one GP's office. Uh, you think so? One was pretty long, over two hours, and it was about ship design. Wow. Sounds like I needed to hire Amy. Yeah, somehow I don't think I, I don't think it'd be fair on Amy to have to dig through my, my stuff. No, it's fine. I have to call, I have to call the, um, uh, well, it's called the Department of Veterans Affairs here in Australia, so I have to call them this afternoon and sit uh, talk to them about a lot of stuff because they're like you know we need we need business numbers and we need you know um all your all your um business breakdown analysis sheets and stuff and i'm like hey guys <laughs> this is just a hobby <laughs> okay <laughs> i think i think you're getting a little bit ahead of yourselves <laughs> this is not classified as as a real sort of business called the same there dva dva right um i just i'm trying to just like hey, this wall 
Right, so if we have... I suppose that could just be blanked off there. So I could actually just go bathroom straight in there, couldn't I? So we could actually... What, what is this space? It is uh, a six. So we can go half bathroom... Um, actually, the cleaning closet probably doesn't need to be that big. Neither does the bathroom, really. It is just a small clinic. I'm torn here. I think I think I want to do that the cleaning cupboard and we're gonna have <laughs> x-ray door on, biohazard door on the cleaning cupboard <laughs> door with over window no i just want to white white door there and for the bathrooms do we actually do we actually have the bathroom door doors with windows on the bathroom for sure so so when Amy goes to the bathroom, BC can go, Amy, are you in there? <laughs> no, it doesn't, Amy, at all. At all. No, I, I don't mind doing it. I have to correlate it all anyway to get ready for tax time because Australia tax time is um, our financial year, like I've stated before, is June to July. Uh, June to, well, that's our, like, that's the yearly tax. Uh, what do they call it? Um, that's our tax. financial. Our financial year is June to June. Not December to December. Uh, we'll go bathroom door. I might split this, but I might just make it communal bathroom. I don't think I'll make it communal bathroom. What I'll actually do... Got a better idea. Make a dingy little passageway here. Can I actually... Um, get rid of that... Right, dingy little passageway, and this is what five. Ooh, that means someone gets an odd bathroom. We don't want that. Now I'll just make it all one bathroom. Okay, um, so that's that, and we'll um, we'll put a door on it. Be done with it. Be done, be gone with you, toilet. All right, um, then, so we want to get about two, I think two clinics in, don't we? Two, like, general offices in. Another five by five here, potentially. Or we come across the, across reception. Okay, so reception's going to be here. Reception in the middle. Uh, so let's just fill out what we need here for the moment. Okay. Come in. Reception could just sit to the side here, actually, and so people can walk up and around this way, which actually might not be a bad thing. So let's get... Um, let's get... That's the ambulance. The Wambulance. Hey, Wes, how are you, friendo? Only, yeah. Um, oh, only you. We've got to put this in here so someone complains about um about the drain cover flipping up and hitting their car, or when when they wheel. Oh, be perfect when they wheel the person out. That'll be better. When, when they wheel the person out the back of the uh, out the back of the ambulance, the drain cover flips up and they go flying out of the out of the bed. Perfect. Seems that seems about right. All right, let's just close this building off so we can just start closing things in and getting it done. Uh, we'll, we'll get things done. What we need to get done ASAP for this clinic. Uh, that wall should probably be right there. 
they're not external walls because they'll probably get built into other walls, right? Um, okay. Uh, so we've got a one, two, three. We'll take it off that line. One more. Um, okay, so we'll probably do that, which then grants me if that's one, two, three. A bit of a small staff room out the in the middle here. Right. So this will be kind of like a really jam-packed, tight little staff room to begin with. And in this corner will be a reception. And then we'll have waiting rooms and stuff here. And we might put another... You know what? I'm going to shrink this down. This bathroom is going to get shrunk down. One, two, three. And then you're going to come back one. That's a bit better. And then um, we'll probably chark. Yeah, okay, so we'll make the other GP office just up here. Five by five. Okay, perfect. We're getting there. We're getting there. Make a corridor there. And then we can extend this wall up that way. And we can just keep the, uh, the white wall there like that. Brilliant. Okay. They're going to be the GP offices. We're going to put um, just the regular white doors on there for us, thanks. Okay. Reception down in here. And then we'll make this a bit of a staff room. We'll make the entrance to the staff room just there. And bathrooms here. That's uh, not a bad layout. And then we've got waiting room just in here. Yeah, that'll work. How's everyone's... Uh, what's going on today, team? Tell us the weather. I want to hear the weather reports. It's going to be stormy here today. It's quite humid at the moment, actually, considering. Uh, generally, it does get really humid just before it storms. Everything, everything starts to sweat in a place. And then the rain just goes bang. If it is a crazy thunderstorm, I'm going to have to look after this little kid next to me. Hank, it's a dog. He will um he'll get scared. Okay, uh we don't need that yet. I just want to go back to here. I think we're done. So for flooring, we're gonna get some nice timber floors in here. Uh in the passageway. Although I love, I love when you go to a, uh, a hospital and it's just this horrible lino, like just plastic floor, basically white floor. I, I kind of want it to be like, um, where's the, is there like a bluey color? I think you can change. It. Yes, this color. You know this horrible floor you see when you go into a into a clinic or a hospital, and you're just like, great. So we'll make the waiting area like that, and then we'll go into into um into plastic floor, plastic uh, fifty uh, fifty Fahrenheit. Oh, that seems like perfect kind of weather, Amy. Lucky um, lucky Wes, lucky Dan and Jody just uh, got the last flight out, and they're not going to have to deal with all the storms that you're going to get. Right in the GP's office. We'll go like this nice uh, creamy sandal color. <laughs> sure, why not? And um, in the actual cleaning closet area, we'll give them like, what's that? Black floor? No, we'll give them something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should have, they should still have like that color. And the bathrooms should be... Maybe the bathroom should be like that. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Or it could be like this uh, this mint green color. 
Yes, that is the bathroom color. Brilliant. Um, and then we'll keep this uh, we'll keep this running through here for the actual staff room. Staff room's not big by any means, but I don't think it's supposed to be to start with. Right, in terms of some windows, because we want uh, we want peeping toms, don't we, to look in while um, people are getting worked under them. We'll go windows with blinds. Just one in the one in the middle. Hey diddle diddle, one in the middle. And the cleaning closet, you don't get windows. You don't get windows, friendo. Right, we'll just do that to start with. So if we go walls up, the outside looks pretty, pretty low level brick. Boring. Brilliant. Let's get to putting um Here we go. So, we need, we need a reception. Let's start with the reception area, okay? It needs to be at least three by three, which is what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I forget how you put this stuff in, just one second. Oh, three by three. Yeah, okay. Well, we can go like that, please. Yeah. Reception. Brilliant. Missing equipment. I understand that. Don't worry about it. We'll get there. Our waiting room needs to be a minimum of four by two. Well, we'll definitely have that because we're going to actually go waiting room like all through here and here. Uh, you know what? I want to expand that one. Yep. Okay. So that's all one big nice waiting room. Doctor's office will peg these in now. Uh, and then cleaning closet. We know we're going to go in there. And then a, uh, a restroom. We're going to go there. Corridors. We know that these are going to be our corridors, so we're just going to keep those like that. For the moment, I'm going to leave that corner out of it in case we do something out that way. Okay, and then um, a common room. Common rooms have to be four by four. We should be able to... We're going to need to pinch a little bit more space. Yeah, okay. That kind of sucks. That, yeah, okay. Well, we can take a little bit more off the back there and we can extend the hallway, so that's fine. Okay, so give me back the um, reception desk. And then I can put the reception stuff in. I'll just extend this out. One. That hurts, man. Uh, and then we'll take that wall out. And then um, we'll extend that one. Like I need to put in the foundation. Right. And then we need to take that wall out. That wall. And then we'll put this wall in. I like my corridors to be about three by three. Just so there's plenty of room. Because there's going to be trolleys. Later on there's going to be trolleys flying up and down. But what we might do is we might keep this as a general... Um, emergency sort of clinic and then we'll expand into bigger hospital areas later we're gonna there's gonna be full um mess eating areas there's going to be emergency helicopter stuff going on um so it's, it's the hospital can get quite out of hand surgeries all sorts there's gonna be blood in the game there's gonna be deaths you name it it's gonna be real life and there's gonna be ham in there with his busted leg and his <laughs> all the stuff going on <laughs> All right, uh, anyway, you get it. You get it, right? Um, where was the uh, corridor here? Just take that out. For, 
Can I um move that? Oh, you silly game. You know what, for the moment, I will put that as corridor. And now I can go common room. You're still not gonna have, let me have that, are you? You bugger on toast. It's gonna, it's gonna make me push this out that way. I, su oh, I don't really want to push the reception down any further. I suppose I could... Oh, we're going to have to do it. Ah, oh, man. It is what it is. I should have built that originally out there, shouldn't I? It's okay. Take a couple of seconds. What's a couple of extra seconds? Um... Why is that done that again? Uh, oh, that's the floor. I haven't expanded the floor probably. Okay. Now that has to go out that way. Jeez, the staff want a uh, fairly big room, don't they? Greedy staff. Uh, I suppose I could... How big is that? Yeah, well, if that's the case, um, I'm going to take that wall off them. That's what you get for being greedy. I can get a bit more extra waiting room area there. Sure. That works for me. Okay. Where's our, uh, our lino? I think that's going to be like that to be honest okay let's uh let's go back to here fix our corridor uh, and our waiting area yeah that's better waiting area um uh, reception's good restrooms corridor here we go Okay, corridor there, waiting room there, staff room now. Right, that'll appease them. Brilliant. Never played this before, it's like Two Point Hospital. It is a little bit more, more of a simulator in that it's a little bit more realistic than that. Uh, Wes, Two Point's got that quirky little I'm Dr. Cheesy Smile and I'm with Nurse Pregnant. You know, like, it's, it's kind of like that. Um, and they do little like, um, oh, we've got the light bulb heads. We've got a light bulb head emergency where they have to screw the light bulb heads off and put real. This is a little bit more realistic in terms of diagnosis and stuff. It's still, it's still quite fun and um, has moments, but it's a little bit more serious, but it, yeah, it's a good game. It is a, it is a brilliant game. Um, okay. So now we get to do this. So in the, uh, in the reception, we want, um, we want that. Do I? I didn't want to do that. Uh, yeah, we're going to have you wanted there and a uh, another corner pick there can 
can I just have a look at yeah yeah that's okay that's brilliant and then we'll also yeah we'll leave it like that I think oh, I like the green one though the green one's fun but I'll leave it like that I think we need two you can have um yeah we just go with the cheapo pc you can um i think that'll be about it then you can have a sure you can have a paper holder um and then we need some benches for the waiting room so we're gonna go with um green seats Although I need a um I need a Q thingy, don't I? No, that goes in the waiting room section. Right, so let's get some seats in. Uh not a lot of waiting area actually, after all that. I don't know if that will work. You're going to be better off. Um... For the moment, I could expand this waiting room out there, but we'll just leave it like that, I think. It's really not a lot, is there? Yeah, I thought you might be upset. Uh, we can get one more there. That'll be fine. Yep, cool. Get it, got it, good. We will we'll put in um, one of these that they need. Da -da 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 -da. Grab yourself a ticket. Put some info uh, TVs on the wall. Right. So it begins. Da -da 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 -da. A water dispenser for the people. Uh, everyone come and gather around the cooler. We're already down to 57,000. We're going to have to open this clinic soon. I wonder if this can just sit in the passageway. Cool. Why not? Um, and a vending machine. Why not? Okay, cool. Right. That'll be um, pretty much... Let's just check you. I think you're right. Are you okay? Let's go back to here. And we'll see that reception's good. We'll see that uh, the corridor's okay. Yeah, common room has nothing. I think you're good. We just need... We'll just need to hire some staff there. Okay. And then uh, let's work on the closet next. So we just think It's pretty simple, this stuff in here. You just need a storage shelf, which we can throw a couple in here like that. We'll get you a, uh, a bucket and cart, which will park at the front door annoyingly for the next person to come into their job. We'll also get you... Plastic hamper for the corner. I kind of want to get them a stationary cabinet. I, I, I'm, I'm a sanitary cabinet like that. Yeah. That's it. Then, bathroom. We're going to go. Hmm. I need to put some walls on this. Right. Um, let's get the actual bathroom in first. So we're going to go toilet. 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 Can I get a bit of rotation on this place so I can see what I'm doing? Um, actually can't see what I'm doing here. Uh, I could probably move you over, actually. Get pretty tight little toilet stalls here.
Three? Three's enough, I think. Now, there is actually a toilet door, I'm pretty sure. Like a... a, a we actually go... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure there's a way that you can actually put um, bathroom doors on here. Hey, MGL, how are you, friendo? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a way. This thing's in my way. Can I just uh, rotate you to there? Rotate you to there. I'll just move you to there. Moment. Uh, I just want to see what I'm doing here. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Put a sink in on the floor. <laughs> And so it begins. Let's get you a trash bin and a hand dryer. Uh, now these bathrooms, I might go ahead and extend their actual stalls. Okay, you got to have some leg room while you're going. Now, here's the thing. There is actually... There is actually some bathroom doors here. Maybe I'm just not seeing the curtain. Water closet door. Here it is. Okay. We're going to go with the green. The mint green. Bang. That's perfect. So if you have a look here... Oh, you can't really see... Yeah, whatever. Um, the one thing I do want to check is we've still got... We don't have... Um, just got regular walls. Can I... Um, with the bathroom itself... Can we get um, some horrible tiles in here, please, to match? You were the one. Mm -mm -mm. Brilliant. They're just regular regular walls, those ones, so they can stay like that. Okay. You're playing hooky from home gardening duties. Oh it is. They said there's gonna be storms today. MGL, it's um, it's stormy. It's looking really stormy at mine. Just so you're aware. Um, I just want these um stalls to be like, what's that? Colored wall. Yes, the horrible colored wall for the toilets. Not that we ever really see it, but okay, they're all fine. If I actually just put that up. Yes, the stall doors are fine. So we just do a quick rotate around the bathroom and the bathroom's not complete because I haven't put the tiles fully on. So just go like that. Actually go like that. Give me the dropper. No, that thanks. And that's that bathroom done. Now for the uh, cleaning closet, I'm going to go same sort of thing. Actually, we're just going to give them a painted wall. Coffee colored. Cool. And then for the GP's office, we'll go with, um, we'll go with the timber. Oh, you got to have the timber. In the GP's office. Right? Okay. Nice. Because if they don't, people are like, this is not a real doctor's office. Where's your timber? Where's your mahogany on the wall? Ma a rich mahogany. Okay. Done. Cool. 
GP's office done. Corridors are going to have a, um, they're going to have the striped line through them with the mint green. Oh yeah, yeah. That just tells you this way, this way to um, get care, okay? This way, if you're sick. <laughs> All right, just so we can see. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I haven't done this bit. Rotate. Now, um, with the little reception area, we will go probably the timber opposite to the doctors on that for the reception area for this reception building. Opposite of the doctors. I think is that it that would be that and then uh on the inside here we'll go back to just regular painted wall i think uh will we no we'll go to what the doctors have on the inside we'll go back to opposite i i swear at some point this hospital this clinic will be open once we've spent all the money and haven't put any doctor's stuff in. Okay. <laughs> I know. I know. Lucky Amy was there. Amy had to use her 12-month super um, reminder to go ham. Mute button. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. I've got to be the biggest idiot on... Um, on uh on youtube if look at least someone's got to be okay someone's got to take someone's got to take the mantle of biggest idiot right <laughs> wait hey, mgl did you get to the end where we put the planes in i i know you haven't Wait till you get to the um to the end of the episode where we put the airports in. Oh man, I I lost it. It was an absolute crack up. Absolute crack up. All right, can I have a sofa here, please? Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the actual sofa there and a little TV section here. Here it goes. Okay. Bookshelves can go um, there. Dining table's actually going to go over here. We'll put a bit, a bit of a kitchenette in there. Let's get the kitchenette in first, shall we? I'm going to make this a fairly, fairly straightforward kitchen. We'll have a fridge in the corner. We're gonna need a cabinet with drawers for utensils and a cabinet with doors for just whatever. The sink will go in the cabinet with drawers. We'll get some overhead cap. Do they have overheads? Yes. That. Just a little bit of extra cupboard space for them. We'll get the uh, coffee machine. Holy, what is this coffee machine? Hey, come on. You can just have the old George Clooney, okay? You can have the old uh, Nespresso machine. I'm not splashing out for the uh, for the big old matey. Right. Um, a uh, couple of lockers. Okay. That fit perfectly, okay? I'm thinking, actually, we'll take this bookshelf... Can I trash that? Or I actually um remove objects. Yep, okay. I want to go with the big bookcase. Right, just in case, big bookcase. Over here I'm gonna just put a small I wanna get a small table. Damn it. I just want a small table so I can put in a coffee table, that's it. I can so people can still walk past. So when people are sitting here watching TV, um, 
everyone's like, can you get out, get out, get into the, get out of my way. I'm watching the emergency that we're about to get hit with. And then over here, simple as dining table and some fancy chairs. Get out of it. Uh, get, keeping with our green chairs. Right. And that is our staff room done. That actually fit in quite nice and compact. Actually really happy with that. The thing I want to do is I actually want to give reception a little... Well, reception can just walk in that door, so no. I can bugger it. I would like to put a um, reception sign up here, but I uh, I feel like I can't do that. So what I might actually do with reception is uh, give them... Oh, there is the information just there. And so it begins. Yeah, I'm going to give you a little bit of extra desk space. Or I can put in a card file cabinet. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Put in the card file cabinet. A small one. Okay, um... Just trash that for me for a thing and that. I want the desk with the information bit on it. Brilliant. Now give me the computer. Okay. It says visitors chairs. This is um when they're that color, that is just like it'll be in an extra nicety, but we've already got these in here. You've got a chair, you're fine. Okay, deal with it. Ah, uh, printer. We probably should get a printer. Printer can sit there. In fact, we might switch those around, do we? No. Put it back. We'll just leave it. It's fine. Have your weird printer weirdly there. Um, okay, let's do the GP's office, then we can hire some staff and we can name some staff. So get prepared who wants to uh, who wants to be who in the zoo. We're going to get a couple of doctors in. Who wants to be the receptionist? Who wants to be the doctors? So we need, um, let's start with the doctor's desk. A GP consultant desk. We'll just go with this one and we'll make it. Uh... Blue seems quite good. So we'll go with something like uh, at the Okay, we're going to go like that. Uh, we'll get the office chair in here. Mint, of course. Blue, blue and green should never be seen without a desk in between. <laughs> I should just do the... I can You can copy layouts and just put them in, so I might just copy it and put it in. We're just going to copy and paste it. Right, get them a PC. Get them a printer. Um... Right, we're going to need an exam table, which is going to go here. Okay. We need a patient um, chair for the patient to come and sit in. Yeah, this one. And uh, green also. Uh, we'll put in... No, we just want the one. Okay, cool. Uh, right. So, in here, you're going to need some equipment. So, we're going to go disinfection station. Might be better just to have it... Uh, I'll put you in last. Let's get the heavy hitting stuff in first. We need a medical light. Right, medical light. Well, that bed. I change it to uh, green. That's better. Okay, red light. Green thingy. I test. Stand there and um, stand there and uh, read the lines out. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, next I. A, B, C, D. <laughs> if you've got a shoddy eye, that's how you do it. You always go like this. Uh, okay, check your right eye, please. Yep, A, B, C, D. Okay, left eye, please. A, B, C, D. <laughs> uh. Right, equipment cabinet. I think we can go like this. Right? And then we can actually put stuff on top of that cabinet. Like the autometer. The odometer. Why are you not tell why are you why are you why are you Okay that's odd that's not working on there so we won't do that Need an actual What's going on here? There's um something missing here. Yeah, be yeah that is that that's just not fitting on there. Turn back around. I got all this room in the corner here. Let's go there. Okay, now can I get that on there? Yes, okay, brilliant. Then let's get you a, uh, we're gonna need to get you a desk anyway for it. Uh, square glass, no, I'd probably prefer stainless steel like that. Stainless steel seems more, um, it seems a lot scarier when you go in and you see a stainless steel thing with implements on it. You're like, oh, I just came for a checkup. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's 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 standard procedure. Let me just sharpen this knife. Why are you, why are you sharpening the knife for a standard procedure? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But that doesn't go on there. We can't get our stainless steel. We have to go with a table. I could go with another um, equipment cabinet like that, uh, which means I should be able to get in it. Okay, but we'll do that. Biohazard bin, we'll go with the red one because it seems scary. That can just sit. Can't sit. Go with that there. Right, equipment table. I Oh, there's the equipment table. That's what I was after. Okay, that's brilliant. Does that biohazard bin not work there? there like that that's it chart board charter boat what charter boat sure you can have a chart board there why not uh that's the doctor's surgery now if i take this there should be a blueprint section here where i can actually blueprint that copy create uh prefab Move a room selected area. I just copy that. What do you know? It worked. Right. So we don't have to go through all that again. So we've got our two GPs office. We're done. We're ready to go. I think. I think. Let's go back to here and check what's going on. We're on. We're only. Uh, we're only an hour in. <laughs> all right. We get to hire some staff. Brilliant. So rooms clinic done. We got the we got the tick of approval. We're only going to start with um, day shift um, contracts wise, right? Because you get this. Um, where's the contracts here? Where'd that thing go before that I had? Uh, insurance companies, right? We have. Um, <laughs> we don't really have any contracts from many people yet, so we're not. Re yeah, here insurance, anonymous hospital. Oh, anonymous hospital. We don't even have a name for the hospital, do we? Is this what... Okay, we need a name for the hospital. Ham's House of Horrors or something. Or what What do we want to call this hospital? Let's get Let's get a name here, people. Think, think of a name. And we can give our hospital a name. Happy Horrors? <laughs> <laughs> you want to call it happy horrors? Sawbones? <laughs> That's a good pun, Amy. Have you got sawbones? Come in and we'll saw your bones. 
<laughs> I like that. I like that. Sawbones. Uh, oh, wait, it's not working. Sawbones. Happy. Horrors. <laughs> oh, I didn't put the R. Whoops. Horrors. Uh, medical. It's still. Pity. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Sawbones. Happy Horrors. Medical facility. <laughs> Not that ill yet. <laughs> we only want people with we, we only want people with superficial injuries, please. We don't want people with real problems. If you can just come in for your cosmetic issues, please. <laughs> Hi sir. What's your problem today? Uh, I feel I'm not feeling as good as I did yesterday. Oh, what do you mean? Well, yesterday I looked in the mirror and I felt I looked at myself and it was really, I was really good looking. And what about today? Nah, I'm just having an off day. All right, take a couple of these and see me, see me in a week's time. <laughs> All right, um, let's go with uh, that's it. Okay, right. So day shift. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the receptionist first, shall we? All right, first up, higher staff day shift clinic. What do we got here? Do they have to be nurses to do that at the reception desk? It seems about right, probably. Uh, we don't want to go anything too expensive. We're in the, we're in the uh, Sawbones Clinic, so we're going to go with Elizabeth Thomas here. Elizabeth's uh, 29. She's got patient care of 17, receptionist of 6%. Actually... That's probably good enough for me. All right, Elizabeth. Who who wants to be Elizabeth? <laughs> who, what, what are we going to call Elizabeth? Someone give me a name for Elizabeth Thomas here. Nurse Betty or something. I don't know. Well, did someone come up with a name for Elizabeth? She was, uh, she was the cheapest we could get. Right, uh, let's go to this section. Let's get a doctor in. So we probably want a... Um, what do we got here? We got a specialist, an intern. An intern with 0% general medicine and 0% diagnosis. I don't think we want that person in our hospital yet, even though it's fitting for Sawbones, um, Happy Horrors Medical Facility. Lizzie? Cheap Lizzie. <laughs> uh, are we going cheap Lizzie? Uh, is Lizzie spelt with a Y or an IE? We'll just go with cheap Lizzie, eh? Cheap Lizzie. Cheap Lizzie's on the desk. All right. Um, all the doctors. We we need someone good. So the attending here is not too bad, uh, expensive, but not too bad. And then we've got two interns. Look, we might have to, because I, I don't want to, I, I really don't want to pay 635 salary for Elizabeth Brown here, as good as you would be with 97 and 88. I think we're going to lowball it a little bit. Uh, and um, the attending will be Rachel Clark. She'll be our head, our head doctor, to say. Right, so Rachel here. Uh, hospital now accepts patients. Brilliant. Okay, and then um, Rachel needs a name. Rachel needs a name. So we'll have to come up with that. All right. Uh, doctor's rating, 50%. That sounds perfect. And then in this one, we're going to need... Oh, we need a cleaner here. So, so ooh, janitors. Uh, look, efficiency. We need someone who's going to keep this place fairly clean. We're going to go middle of the road here, I think, uh, for about 112. And we'll go um, a senior janitor. Mary Wilson. Okay. You're going to be called... Um, sweeps. I don't even know how to... 
I don't even know how to spell all this, what I want to spell. Um, how do I want to, what do I want to do here? I want to go. Um. Just one second, I'll just see if I can get a, um, random name here. You know what we call you? You know what we... We'll call you Sweeps McGoggin. Okay, Sweeps McGoggin on the job. And we need a name for uh, I need a name for our head doctor, and then we need another one here. So, oh dear, looks like we're gonna have to get an intern. I don't really want to get an intern. We've got cleaning equipment in there, MGL. No. Was your suggestion overlooked, or? overruled no were you not here for when i named the hospital it's like you made the suggestion and you left me uh if you have a look here um Get out of this bit. Here we go. Um, if you have a look at this, this, where'd it go? Sawbones Happy Horrors Medical Facility. It just, it's just kind of cut off a little bit because it doesn't all fit in. Sawbones Happy Horrors Medical Facility. <laughs> oh, you also gave a name for the nurse. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. I didn't see that, BC. Happy Horrors. I can't see the... Where have you given the... Oh, where have you given the um, name for the nurse? I saw Happy Horrors was my suggestion overlooked. Yeah, I can't see anything after that. Look at the... I'm looking at the chat here. Uh, it's not on my screen. I've got, uh, you said happy horrors. Amy said sawbones. MGL said not that ill yet. Then MGL said cheap Lizzie. And then MGL said, do you need cleaning equipment in there? And then you said, was my suggestion over overlooked? Fail. What was the name, BC? Just give me the name so I can see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can't see it, MG uh, BC. Uh, David Clark... Or who are we going to go with? I think we'll just go with... Um, you're cheaper, so we'll go with you. John Clark. Are these two related? John and David went... John and David, the two brothers, went to uh, medical school together and were both equally as bad as each other. No. Can't see it. I can't see it. Is it... Come, is it... YouTube must not like it. Spell it with spaces, BC, and I can put it together. <laughs> Spell it with spaces. Okay, we're getting an intern in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Spell it with the space. Or put it in Discord. Put the uh, put the suggestion in Discord, friendo, and I'll uh, I'll have a look. <laughs> no, I can't see it. <laughs> Put it in Discord. I'll have a look in there. That's odd. Maybe, maybe YouTube's hating you today for some reason.
That's so odd that it's not letting it. I wonder what it is that you're writing. Clearly. All right, I'll wait till you put that in there and then we can, uh, we can crack on. Right, I think we just open this now. All right, let's open. Uh, also, I didn't read if these guys have like... Um, Senior janitor. Do you have like... Um, Oh, you've got a long commute. Oh, can often be late for work. No. Whatever. That's why you, that's why you cheap Lizzie. <laughs> okay. Can we hit play now, please? Sure. I think we're ready. And we're off and running. And we've got no patience, but boy, we've got a nice big car park. Okay, we've still got 43,000 in the bank. We're going to need to save money, trust me, because we're going to have the next things are going to have to be like, um, we're going to have to put in a clinic where we can test. Uh, we need some taste testers in and stuff to test people's um, urine and, and uh, poop and all that sort of jazz. <laughs> we need the, we need the uh, sample testers. Send a, send a DM. Okay, thanks, mate. <laughs> That's probably why. That isn't YouTube a bit funny. <laughs> isn't that funny? Okay, is that for our? Uh, isn't is that for our? Um, is that for our head doctor? We'll just call it a doctor. Uh. I don't know why. It didn't work. We can't have it. That's what it was. Uh, very family friendly of you. Welcome to Dr. Beard Bitch. Nanny State got you here. We need a name for... Um, we need a name for John Clark here as well, because John Clark sounds like some kind of a chef. <laughs> I don't think we should have a chef in. All right. Um, doctor. Uh, wait, you should be called... Um, no idea. I'm just going to have you idea. Doctor, no idea. <laughs> no idea. But not with, but with, with no space. So it's like idea. No idea. Okay. There's no clear diagnosis. There's no clear diagnosis. Consider adding more diagnosis equipment, laboratories, or radiology rooms. The patient will leave soon. Okay. See, there we go. Straight up. We need um, adding more diagnosis. Okay. Let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at you. What's going on? Holy snap. You've come in. Oh, you could be a fracture. Arm contusion. If you're coming in with an arm contusion, cut it off. Sawbones, cut it off. <laughs> Welcome to Sawbones. We don't have an x-ray facility. We just cut limbs off. Kate Miller, off with your limb. Damn it. Are we going to have to put in a um, radiology department already? Uh, I don't really want to put in the radiology department yet. I mean, that's under here. Just want to let's just see how let's just see how the clinic goes for a bit. If we can't treat, you go to the next hospital. <laughs> it's maybe an Indian doctor, you reckon? I don't know about that. Doctor, no idea. I, 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 hate, I hate to be this person. The first patient Doctor, no idea has ever had. 
Let's have a look. Let's see if we can help out Dr. No Idea here. Um, Dr. No Idea has gone straight for the please take off your shirt. So that's already a... Uh, he's got no idea. Karen Clark. What do we got? Nail fungus. Athlete's foot. Prummy nail. Let's see how he goes here. We can also help out with the diagnosis here. I'm in the way, so we'll put you over here. Um, there is a way that we can help out. I'm pretty sure. I've forgotten how we do this. There's no clear diagnosis. Consider adding more go-to. Okay. Pause for a sec. Okay. Default patient controlled by player favorite patient. Uh... Can you please, um... Hmm. Doctor, doctor, no idea. Ah. Uh, available treatments. Active examinations. Interview, we've done that. Physical examination, done that. Just issue the person some foot cream and send them on their way, okay? Karen, have some foot crane, and if it doesn't work, just put it on your toast. Because it's quite tasty. It's vanilla flavored foot cream. Alright, here we go. Next patient in. Looks like we're getting some patients. We're, we're, we've obviously got a good recept. Uh, good. Uh, uh, there's no clear diagnosis. Already? No, no, no. I said. Lotion cream or ointment applied to the patient's feet in the uh, treatment of various diseases and symptoms required room doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nail um, discoloration. Crummy nail. Athlete's foot. Nail fungus. Oh, we've got a 50-50 here. Let's just go with it. Let's go with nail fungus. Antifungal ointment. We're just going to treat it for nail fungus. <laughs> Karen, what do you do for a job? You're an athlete, so you've probably got athlete's foot. Damn it. Ah, well, you're on cheap O care. That's what you get. Hey, look at that. Objective for insurance company has been complete. Treat one patient per day at emergency. Revort 20,000 government grant. Crikey's okay. Maybe we will build that um, x-ray facility now. So, I think we should get... We should get the Petri dish facility, uh, uh, which is the um, medical laboratories and a radiology department. Where do I want to put these? I'm thinking we can go down here. Uh, one second team. Um. One second. Okay. Right. Let's go with, um, where do we want to put this? Up this way. We could go up. We could just plug it in here, couldn't we? Okay. Let's, um, how big does it have to be? Radiology department, please. How big does your x-ray room have to be? It has to be just a five by five.
There's also CTs, MRI. We can just go with a simple x-ray, I think, to start with would be good. Okay, let's go back to build mode, please. We're going to keep it fairly simple, Simon, said the pieman. We're also going to get... Can I just have a look at the... Um, hematology, microbiology... Uh, Ruggies, you got to be 4x4, 4x4, 4x4. Fully equipped laboratory capable to provide blood and serology related tests. I don't know what, maybe we should just go with the hematology lab first. Yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Right. Uh, perfect. We'll block those and we'll expand. Not being able to see didn't really help. Yeah, I like that. Thanks. Um, expand that wall. I didn't really want you on that. Uh, for the microbiol uh, for the we we want tiles, I think, in here, like sort of like a sterile tile looking place. I'm gonna go like that in there. Is that giving me on the outside as well? No. On the inside. Okay, and the x-ray room is just going to be your standard white walls. Also, Ham, yeah, I'm aware of what I just saw. That has to expand there. And um, that has to expand there. Okay, um, what I didn't do is I haven't put the can you put that up use that yeah yeah that's what I'm after that goes in there okay and then in the x-ray room just standard white walls please because x-ray rooms are boring dull and horrible to be in trust me I've been in my fair share of them Okay, you're good. All good? All good. That's just uh, end wall because it's going to be expanded. Let me just check all the walls. That one there needs the green line. Uh, also, this one here should probably have a green line. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get... Oh, that should... Yeah, they should all have green lines then, shouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, if you're going to be doing that, then that should have a green light too. And just the reception can have that. Brilliant. Okay, floors wise. Uh, the x ray room, pretty standard white floor for that we're just going to keep it x-ray rooms are horrible to be in they're just they're just gray boxes i'm going to keep it that way for the actual clinic we're going to go some ceramic white tiles we're going to keep this place all tiled now um x-ray door bang um and then and then what? Well, for the um, for this, we're going to go tall glass. What's that? Is that a window? I, I, is there glass doors here for the? Yeah, glass door. This is going to be for the um, the blood testing lab. that in fact i probably want to remove that 
just have those two. Okay, so then it looks like that. Cool. Little little um, science biology lab. Okay, cool. Let's come back to here now that they're sort of plugged in. We can expand that uh, that zone there. We can expand the uh, passageway. Oh, you want to do your own corridor, do you? You don't need a corridor. In fact, get rid of that. I'm just going to keep all the corridors um, under the one one under the one corridor here, like that. Right. That's fine. It's not a uh, necessity to have it for for that. So we're just going to go a simple X-ray room, right? Uh, no, it's fine where it is, MGL. It's fine where it is. If you have a look. Oh, I can't look. We can't look at it at the moment. Let me just get this stuff in. That's the way the game automatically puts them in. Um, so. In the x-ray room. We need the x-ray equipment. Holy snap and x-ray equipment, Batman. And we need the x-ray control panel. So the control, we're going to put... I love when you go in to get an x-ray. And they're like, this is a safe procedure. You've got nothing to worry about. Please stand here. They line you up. And then they go behind a lead wall with a door. And they're like... We're just going to... Uh... We're just going to take a couple of pictures now. So let me just put on all my protective equipment. And they look like this. And then they go, a couple of quick snaps. And you're like, and they're like, <laughs> you know, you're like, you sure this is safe? <laughs> right. Uh, just my white walls, please. Uh, we're going to go, uh, what do you got there? One. To buckle my shoe. I'm going to go something like that. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> uh, if you just hold tight, oh, tight there, sir, please, because we're about to uh, irradiate your body. Uh, but it's totally safe. Don't worry. I'm just standing behind this lead paneled wall for no reason. Just, uh, um, uh, it's a fine. Oh dear. All right, I'm going to give you a glass door. The glass door. Actually, I'll give you a regular door. Actually, no, I won't. You know what I will do? Um, I'll take that wall out, actually, because you just need a wall to stand behind. Uh, like that. You literally just need a wall to stand behind. And I'll show you why. Uh, the x-ray control panel. Bang. <laughs> we'll get you a uh, desk. Right, with a computer. A laptop computer and uh, uh the cruddy chair okay and then uh, a, pr a print a printer do you need a printer i don't think you need a printer we'll get a wall cabinet i don't know why the x-ray room needs a wall cabinet but okay whatever i'll put that in after uh maybe mobile equipment cabinet might be the go just chuck that there the x-ray viewer, which will actually go on that wall, right? Because the patient's not allowed to see it. The, the actual, oh, actually, you could sit there. Yeah, so when they look up at there, yeah, that's perfect. Although, I probably would prefer you to be there, so that's fine. Um, and then that goes there. 
that's everything they need. Pretty basic standard setup for the little x-ray room. Um, I'll just check all those walls. This wall here, not painted, which is, if you think about it, pretty standard procedure for a yeah, x-ray room where the walls look like they're half belted in. A bit uh, cruddy. <laughs> all right, x-ray room done. We're going to need someone that can work in there as well. How are we doing money-wise? 46,000. Okay, we can get this in. We're going with um, we're going with the hematology lab. Okay, and then you guys here, right? So a lab desk. We're gonna get you with the lab desk. It's so it's so when people walk past the corridor, they look in and go, oh, that looks um, looks uh, kind of dangerous in there. We want a samples refrigerator in the corner. We are gonna to need to go with the lab desk. I'll put it like kind of in the middle. In the middle. Of, actually, I can put it here. There. I'm just gonna spin around here so I can see a little bit better in this room. Okay, so lab desk has a PC on it. Radio. I'm not even going to pronounce that word. You can just have a printer there on your little lab desk and you get a, um, a yeah, stool. Because that's what they have. They have stools, yeah? Stools in the lab desk. Biohazard bin for sure. Okay. Uh, um, and then we, what we want now, we're going to need a lab shelf. Yes. you got to have lab shelf stuff. Okay, all the little testing stuff you've got in here. What's this? Scrubs. We don't need scrubs yet. We're not into the emergency uh, wall-mounted shelf. We'll put that. Uh, we'll put that in here. That. Uh, just rotate back around for me so I can see what's going on. Yeah, maybe I can fit in a wash station under there. So we'll go like um, this lab sink under here. That's brilliant. Okay, so that's the. Uh, that's that. Then over here, we'll get another lab desk. Is that going to be in the way of what I need you to do? So I want some glassware here. I want an analyzer there. I want that on there. And I want that on there. Hey, that's pretty much got it, I think. Half lab desk. What's a half lab? Oh, should have put that in, but that's okay. So that should have that pretty well done. Let's just go back now and check radiology department if we can. I, I like you. It says waiting room. Can I just have you as part of this? Like, can you just be part of this waiting room? Or does that take you off emergency? Yeah, okay, it takes that off emergency. So you have to have your own separate waiting rooms. That's okay, we can flush it into the corridor here, maybe. Damn. You know what? We could make a little waiting room section here for the x-ray facility. Let's try that. Do you need a, um, by the way, do you need a waiting room? You do. Hmm. It's kind of annoying, you know? I wish you could just have them all wait in the one section, but I, I get it. Unless I can just do this.
wonder if I can take some corridor out here. I would really prefer to have, um... Three by threes, though, to be honest. I can... I, I mean, we don't need that much, um, cor I guess. Two by two is still going to be fine there. And then what you can give me here is radiology, waiting room. How big does it have to be? Four by two. Well, you know what? For the moment. Look, I don't even know why we have to put corridors in. I'm just going to have that. I'm going to have that. And I'm going to set you. Did it say four by two for waiting room? Just sneak a bit of corridor down there. Okay, we can sneak a bit of corridor down there, which is fine. Okay, we'll put in we'll put in these couple of waiting room bits here. Um, also that can go like that. What what that what that does? It designates and helps the cleaners later on when you designate them to certain cleaning spots. Like this person is set to cleaning corridors. This person is set to cleaning these rooms. So that's what it kind of helps with. Yeah, okay, so radiology, waiting room. Um, I don't know if... Do these guys really need that? Okay, yeah, that's all they need. They don't actually need a cleaning closet. And the benches for the radiology department are going to be red. Uh, they're going to be white. It's going to go like that. And then um, for this one. Same thing, that one. I don't know why you would, why the doctor, I don't know. I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to deal with it. It's not going to work there, is it? Single chair? All the single chairs? All the single chairs. That doesn't really work then, does it? Guess you're just having that, and we'll put in a single chair that's out of um, out of whack. Oh, we could put you in though, couldn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Why don't I just do that with the other ones? Makes sense. <laughs> right. Uh, are we all good? Can we open the radiology department? No, we can't because we need candidates. Okay, we've got to come up with some names again, people. So who do we want here? We need someone who's got good radiology and then we'll look at biochemistry shortly for the next section. So radiology department. We need less biochemistry, more radiology. Probably Lisa here. Lisa's quite expensive. I'll tell you what, we could fill um we could fill this department first. Oh no we can't. Ultrasound? We're not doing ultrasounds. I tell you what, you've got good biochemistry. I think that's all we need, is it not? 
or do you need to have four science advanced biochemistry no we don't want that I'll set the janitor to help clean over there shortly, but uh, you've got no other special. None of these have any other specialists, so I'm just going to go with um, Barbara Lewis. Good job, Barbara. We'll get a name for you soon. How's that sound? As for you, radiology, it's probably going to be Lisa here. going to be expensive complete objective objective for insurance company has been completed open a radiology clinic reward 30,000 government G's okay that's going to be handy going forward 115 thousand okay um when it comes to the cleaner can I set where the cleaner works Oh, we can go into doctor mode. That's right. I forgot about that DLC. Uh, the cleaner here. Where's my cleaner? Where's my staff button? Departments. Insurance company can be contracted. Insurance company uninsured can be contracted to send patients. Okay. Cool. <laughs> We've added, we've got cheapo care and uninsured people now. That's because that's what you want at your hospital. You want uninsured people. Uh, right. Can I please have, um, where's my janitor? Has my janitor gone home? Seriously. Seriously, my janitor has gone home. I don't even have a button for it. That's what she said. That's not what she said. What's this one? Right. <laughs> yeah. I need to actually um put uh, put pictures on my um my stream deck buttons down here. Okay. Um, where's that? Just want to figure out this janitor system down here. Budget, statistics, ambulance, departments, there's a way that you can tell your, um, where's my, is that the staff button, that's a doctor mode, management mode, here we go, so we're gonna have to, yeah, maybe we tell you, Sign rooms. Can I tell you to clean that one? No, I can't. See, that's what I'm after. I thought there was a way I can say, hey. You need to clean these areas. Currently, your cleaning areas are though, uh, all the highlighted ones. I want to add some, though, if I can. Currently, I can't hire a, hire a manager at administra administrative department to be able to assign janitors to individual rooms. Can I not just expand your room stuff? So I'm going to have to put in actual... Surely, I'm not going to have to have individual janitors for these rooms. Don't have a cleaning closet. What if I just shove a cleaning closet in somewhere, like down in here? But are you gonna, here's the thing. Having in, no, there's gotta be a way I can have, uh, I've forgotten this already. There's gotta be a way I can have individual cleaning departments work. Um, 
Can I just do that? Employee has no workspace. Yeah, so that doesn't work. Oh, wait, what? Have I lost... We lost our cleaner, did we? Okay, get back in there. Allowed roles manage bu management button left. Management button mode. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Where are you talking about MGL? Yes, button left. You got to be more specific than that. There's a lot of buttons on this screen. Department dress? No way. We can also put a chief doctor in here, which I'm going to make. Um, bearded, bearded bitch is the chief doctor. <laughs> imagine if we, imagine if we made no idea the chief doctor. Uh, bottom left management. This one here. This role ca can't be enabled at this workspace. So you need to actually have. Yeah, you actually need to have. Um, you need to have a manager for that department to be able to do that. I just, I actually thought there was a way. With, I actually thought there was a way you could just expand their, their work area. Or like designate, so this department here. I, I thought there was a way in here I could say, hey, you can just have this as well. I don't know why I can't do that. There's got to be a way to do it. Um... Let me just Google it. I'm just going to Google it because I could sit here and question it all day or I could just quickly Google it and be done with it. So while we're doing that, let's just let the um, hospital uh, play and get through it like at least one day, hey? So while I Google that, go ahead and... um, Because I've forgotten that. Let's have a look here. Um... Okay, let's have a look at this for a second. Okay, that's not helping me. That that's not uh, that's not helpful. Um, that's not good. Um, this is what I want here. Can you assign one cleaning closet to multiple departments? Okay, so apparently they will clean anything not clean, including other departments when they can. Just to note, they will clean other departments when and if their department is completely clean. If it is busy, if it is a busy department and there is con uh, constant cleaning requested, they might find little time to clean other departments. You use this um, though. Have some janitors in the um, busiest and some in the slowest. Maybe one. Okay. You can also tweak the cleaning stats. Okay, so it looks like they will just clean um, when they get to it. So it looks all right. I think they'll get to it when they get to it, so that's fine. Because you kind of want to keep that clean, I would think. The x-ray department, don't worry about it. All the radiation will zap everything away. All right, let's uh, zoom through our first day, shall we? Let's see if we can get a few things done here. 
see how they're going. We could obviously step in and help with some of this as well. But let's get through the day. Employee, employee has no workspace. Employee has no workspace. Employee has no workspace. Will be idle. Find or assign workspace quickly or employee will go home without the common. Go to. Okay. Maybe it's because there's nothing to clean yet, potentially. Yeah, there we go. You do have a... So you are cleaning. Okay, there you go. Start scrubbing them floors. Okay. 100% efficiency optimized. <laughs> Get to cleaning. You're cleaning the same spots. For, don't just walk in there when... <laughs> Please take off your shirt, madam. Don't mind the janitor. They're just cleaning the same spot over and over again. Objective for insurance company has been completed. Treat 10 patients per day. Reward 30,000 gold. Brikeys, 10 patients per day. Right, what's our ne next objective then? Look at us go. We might start expanding. We can be expanding out sooner than we thought. Um. Okay, yeah. 15 patients per day. Open clinic at specialization department. Okay, we've got two of 14, four of 11. Okay, pretty quiet. It looks like it's uh, pretty much the end of the day. Everyone's working late today. Employee has no workspace. Okay, good. Off you go, go home. These guys are just, ooh, could this be? Could this be a thing? They're talking about kites. <laughs> hey, can you not do that so close to me, please? While I'm trying to finish up work for the day. Well, geez, these guys work late. They work very late, don't they? Uh, is everyone going home yet? What time do they finish? Can we set the schedule, can we? Maybe we'll shut... Okay, room workloads... Okay, they work till 8 p.m. Crikey's. So, department stats. These two. Oh, talking about kites again, I see. Go home. Good. Now we can get to the next day. We'll kind of, what we'll do, we'll buzz through the next day and then we'll chuck in some more building stuff and just see what's going on. We'll see if we can complete a little bit more objective. But money-wise, budget-wise, we're going pretty, pretty well. Let's go. Come on. So we're going to treat 15 patients per day. Open clinic at specialized department. What does that mean? What specialized department? Open clinic at specialized department, hospitalization, emergency. Look at all this stuff we've got. We've got pathology, administrative department. We've got trauma, traumatology. We've got infectious disease. We've got neurology, cardiology, orthopedy, um, internal medicine department general surgery and we've got intensive care unit daily news a terrible article about your facility in local tabloid causes 20 percent patients to do it to go to a different hospital what <laughs> is it the name is it the name employee has no you do have a workspace shut up go to work can we um, skip to the next day too, please? All right, we've got two doctor's offices. Um, <laughs> oh, I've, I've named her Breaded, by the way. Okay. 
Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Go, come on, can we get through these? Well, I, I, I swear there used to be. Sweeps McGoggin. Also, that's got to be a small C. Sweeps McGoggin, you do have a... Um, You've got plenty of, um... Yeah, you'll be fine, okay? You just keep doing what you're doing, it's fine. Um, I really, I thought there was a way you could get to the next day a lot quicker. Whatever. Uh, okay, so next sort of thing we want here, I probably want to go with a, um... A cag room, potentially. Coronary uh, angiography. Or oh, angiography, sorry. Medical technique also used to um, anteriography that visualizes blood vessels and organs of the body. Sounds intense. Maybe we just want a CT room and then an MRI. Potentially. We'll probably expand them out this way. We Look, we haven't had anyone die yet. Even with um, Doctor No Idea. Come on, let's get through the day, please. I really thought there was a way to skip through the night. No oh, well, I suppose because there is nighttime shift normally, so... Come on, game. Oh, there we go. That's the button there. That's what I was looking for. Skip to the morning. Okay. Let's go. Let's get in. Everyone, get to work. Here they come. That janitor better get to work. 20% less patience today, too. There we go. Janet is sweeping those floors again. Stop telling me that. Okay, just come up as a log, thanks. Don't need you to keep popping up. You just keep sweeping them floors. McGoggin. McGoggin. I don't know why we got such a bad... Um, Wrath. I mean, Dr. No Idea has actually done not a bad job. I want to see when we get someone in for an x-ray. How many patients are we treating, by the way? Let's have a look here. Treated patients today? None. <laughs> We're looking to treat at least 16, are we? Hey, we got someone on the x-ray? We're gonna need to do some expansions here, aren't we? We're just gonna get through this day and see what happens. Is that, um... Treated patient today. So we've had nine treated. And none untreated. That's not too bad. We've got to, If we can get to 16, we're at 10. We're at 2 p.m. We might make it 11. Come on. Let's get 12. Let's get to that. We need five more. Come on, team. Work your guts out. at 12. I don't think we're going to make it. That 20% kind of hurt us a little bit, didn't it? That 20% hit. Thirteen. We're going to be three off. No more people waiting, really. Maybe. Maybe. We're just not going to make it. Come on. 
14. No, complicated diagnosis. Go to. Let's try and see if we can help out. Um, Dr. No Idea here. Right, let's zoom right in. Dr. No Idea. Oh, hand contusion, simple fracture, leg contusion. Okay, there's a big difference between your leg and, leg and your hand, uh, between your hand and your arm and your legs and your feet. Okay, I'm just going to say, what are the symptoms? What can we do to help uh, Dr. No Idea out about here? Yeah, right, so you've done... Oops, sorry. Um... Send them for an x-ray if you can. Can we not send them for an uh, x-ray upper limb and x-ray lower limb? Go. See if you can do that for me. All right, let's do that. Just go to two times speed. See if it just starts to... Hey, arm contusion. There you go. There you go. Um, so we're going with that. A contusion, also known as a bruise, is a region of injured tissue, usually with uh, purple discoloration. What do you need for that? Numbing ointment? Ointments uh, that are applied to certain area, e.g. sunburn, to numb or relieve pain and irritation. Um... Require, I don't think you need drugs for that. Cold compression wraps are used to calm down painful areas of the body required. Okay, we'll go with that. And we'll go with some numbing ointment. I don't think you need some... I don't think you need analgesics. Well, that, that'll get... Uh, I'll give it to you all. Just it might give us everything. Okay, try that. Try that for us. Did that work? Yeah. Oh, we got 15. Were we supposed to get 16? Ah, oh, damn it. Clinic opening, clinic opening hours end. Wait, were we supposed... To... Treat 20 patients, crikey's. So we're at 100% for you. No, cheap okay, we get 100%. Uh, this one we get... Uh... Mm. Okay, cool. Treated patient today, 16. One, one untreated, 15. That's not too bad. Look, if that doesn't get us... A good news article. I don't know what does. 400 bucks for a brain. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? It's an interesting game, isn't it? Like, there's a lot to do. Wait till we start getting into the emergency stuff and you start seeing ambulances rock up and people, like, rush... Like, beds being rushed down to surgeries and uh, lots of stuff like that. Okay, I don't need to see that. What we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to we're going to start expanding our um yeah we're going to start expanding our clinic tomorrow we're probably going to put in something for cardiology kind of stuff you know we might put in the ct scan as well which might just help out a little bit more and another sort of biology style lab Yeah, okay. Daily news. Patient numbers and insurance payments are back to normal. Good. 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 All right, so let's um, sort of have a look here. What's I, I guess, you know what? Let's just see what we get through today. We've got 25 people coming in today. Let's see how the team goes with 25 people before we do anything. I, I think maybe we do that.
Okay, room workload statistics. I don't, okay, yeah, we don't worry about that. Let's see how we go today. Let's get a little zoom in. Okay, let's go. While this happens, I'm just going to grab a drink and do a bio break. It's been 2 hours and 15 minutes. I want to stretch the legs just for... Actually, you know what? We might stand up for a bit, hey? Might do some standing. Do some standing. Hey, buddy. You're going to have to move you, kiddo, because I'm going to do some standing for a bit. All that happens, I'm just going to go to play here for a second. Move my chair out of the way. we do it. You know nothing, John Snoo. Okay. Just come up a little bit further. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Microphone. 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 Can you guys hear me okay now still? I feel like I'm very close here. I'm just gonna bring you this way. This. Okay. Alright. Alright, it's nice to stand for a bit. Who are you, BC? What are you talking about? Who are you? Who are you? We've had no deaths yet. Uh, what do you mean, who are you? All right, let's go. Two times. How many? We've got three in there. Three treated so far. Go to three times. We want to buzz through this day a little bit. Oh, good. She's clean. Okay. I'm glad we sorted out that cleaning thing. Um. My pot okay. That's a bit better. At first, I was afraid I was. Uh, All right, how many we 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 got to get twenty today? I think treat twenty patients. Bonus objective um, eleven for cheap O care, and uh, bonus objective fourteen. T 
10. Okay, it's three in the afternoon. I don't think we're going to make it. We're not going to make it. We need more GPs, don't we, I think? The waiting room's pretty busy. Uh, what did you mean, who are you, BC? A clinic patient is about to leave. Clinic patient hasn't been seen by a doctor for a very long time and is getting tired of waiting. Okay, Joseph Clark. Is everyone just called Clark in this in this universe? Where are you, buddy? You're down here. Interview the patient to get as much as you can. Okay, let's make sure you're next, hopefully. Why have you been waiting for that long, Joseph? Next, please get Joseph in here. There's no clear diagnosis. Consider adding more diagnosis equipment, lab laboratories, or radiology equipment. Okay, let's have a look at you. Oh, okay. This is what I'm talking about. This is where we need to start looking at what's going on. Oh, is that just ham being um, dumb again? And just don't know what's going on, probably. Probably. I, I miss, I think I just missed it, BC. I need real time, I need real time chat. You being tired? How's, um, forbidden? It's, um, forbidden something. What, what's it called? The new, the new, um, the new game? Uh, forbidden, what is it? Horizon Forbidden something or whatever. What is it? What is it? Are you playing that tonight? It is Forbidden West. Active examinations. Bacterial tonsillitis. Uh, what do you need? What what would help you? Physical exam. Micro bile sampling. Okay, let's have a look at that. Pause for a second. Pause. Micro... Ah, this side. Uh, microbiology lab. That's what we need. You've got to be a 4x4. Four four. You know, it would be nice to have all these department, all these clinics working in the same room, but I'm well aware that that can't be a thing also. You know what I'm going to do? I think when we do this expansion, I'm going to put the corridor back to being a corridor and I'm going to get a set waiting room for these people. So we've got a corridor here. Let's just plan this out now. We've got a little bit of money. So we've got a corridor here. We're going to keep with our 3x3 three three, and we're going to take it out to another 4x4. Four four. We're going to have another corridor up there. No, we're going to have a waiting room in the middle. No, we're not. We're going to go... Take it to there for me. We're probably going to put a waiting room down here. It's still going pretty good, is it? Horizon Forbidden West. It's still last. Is the story good in it? I, I know that I've watched a couple of big streamers before play Horizon Zero Dawn, isn't it? Um, and, and the game looked really good. I mean, it, it looks beautiful. The story seems really good. And then so we're going to have... Um, just going to keep these five by fives, are we? Potentially. Potentially. We're going to shift the x-ray. No, because what we might do is we might have more x-ray department out here. And what we'll do is we can get another GP office in there. So we'll look at getting another GP in. We'll extend the corridor. We'll put in a waiting room here. Uh, and then we've got some more facilities we can use down here eventually. We'll keep that kind of closed off for now. Um, but I'm considering running another set of rooms out the back here. So like that and like that. And then another corridor down here. Meet that corridor there. Right, let's get some walls up and I can show you what I mean here. 
So we're going to go five like that. That. By that. I, ooh, I better just double check the radiology stuff here. When you come to the CT room, you have to be... Yeah, you're a five by five. I'm really going to squeeze these in for this clinic. Unless... And here's the thing. Unless we make... I, I, okay. Unless I set the buildings up to be different departments and have corridors that lead to the different buildings. What's that, uh, MGL? Oh, names for staff. It's not as good as the first one, BC, is it? Hmm, it's a bit disappointing. The question I want to ask you all is who would be interested in seeing Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4 playthroughs? Um, and I'll do them on Twitch, but I'll, um, I'll convert them so they go over to video log on YouTube, obviously. Or I just dual stream them. Who Would anyone be interested in that? Now, they're older games. They're like 2008, 2009. And then Fallout 4 is 2014, 15. So Fallout 4 is actually a pretty good game. Really good game. I'm not going to do Fallout 1 and 2. Because they're top-down, click click and point games that... Not really my style, but... Gee, it's been a long time since I played those games. And I, I don't need to play them for myself. Um, they do give a little bit of lore, but it's when Bethesda sort of took over was Fallout 3, and it was the, it became the first person open world. So kind of just considering, I, I'm sort of considering doing that just on the Twitch side of things in the evenings. I'm still considering doing that. I'm not going to dual stream to YouTube for it. I'll just put it on YouTube so people can catch up with the vlogs later. But for it does mean that I'll be streaming daytime in, the, uh, in North America, from mornings for a few hours at a time uh but it means evening times here mgl and i know that you can um catch up you can sort of hang out and do some of that sort of stuff as well it's just a bit of a thought because e evenings i'm like i could really play some games in the evenings you know um and i want to start doing some more rpg driven open world story stuff as well just kind of really want if, if you guys you would watch you watch just about anything that I, but uh, BC, that's good because you, you and I, BC, I think are quite similar in games that we love playing, um, like very similar. I think, I think you and I are just the same person in different parts of the world. <laughs> oh, but I've got Elden Ring, and I did a fair chunk of Elden Ring on PlayStation Five when it came out. I just never got back to it. I love Elden Ring. Just, I just never got back to it to finish it off. So that is a good game we could play. Right. Guys, I'm in two minds here. I think I want to move... That. I think I want to move these into their own separate sort of building. Because otherwise, it's you get, we're going to just end up with a mess of departments everywhere. And I don't mean full separate building. I mean, it'll be linked by a corridor. Um, and it's easy. I can just I can just sort of pick them up and move them. Because I can keep this all GP. And then I can have a... I can have, literally, a, a medical laboratory section. Then I can have a radiology section that people can get sent to. And I think I want to do that. And it's going to take a little bit of work. But that's why we live stream. So we can do things like this. Um, just means a little bit of work here. A little bit of planning. Go back to the builder for me. Let's sort of um, sort of plan this out with the walls if I can. So we've got corridor here. Right, so I'm going to plan this out. 
like such. So that's all corridor, right? So we're going to say that's corridor up and around that way. We'll probably have these switch over to be GP offices because they're five by fives and we're fine with that. And then up around the back here might be radiology. Then over on this corner, we might do um, biology. Probably, probably get a few more viewers all around, MGL. It will be on the Twitch side of stuff, however. I, th I think, I don't know, I, I like to keep everything on YouTube though, because I like YouTube. It works for us, it's doing work, but I also want to kind of expand a little bit. Twitch makes you feel dirty. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like to keep everything on YouTube. We just know it works. Everything works on here. So we can just do that, maybe. Twitch just really opens up. There's a lot of people on Twitch that watch Twitch, though. And a lot of a lot of those viewers, a lot of those people don't watch YouTube. So it just it's it's just a way for me to expand the audience is all. Okay, so if we're looking at... You don't need to be like you've got a corridor there however i can expand the waiting room around here and continue the corridor to there potentially so if that's the case give me that corner as well Right, we're going all out here, team. Give me that. Good. Okay, so biology is going to be up here. Now, with biology, I don't know what the rule is with this game, but I want to put them all in one big clinic with their own separate floor space. Or not all of them, but I want to, I want to kind of merge a couple of them so they look like they're all working in the one department. We need to be smart about this. We're gonna have we're gonna move this X-ray facility into there. Oh, drop the wall. Right. Then we're gonna need a re a um a waiting room area for the X-ray department, and it's gonna be situated in here. Or for radiology anyway. So we might actually end up putting an extra couple of bathrooms or another cleaning closet or something up here uh, along with the waiting area for radiology. Um, we're going to need to have a bigger waiting area for them anyway. And we know that you're going to be brick on the outside like that, so we can just make you like that. Okay. So... We don't need that to be a wall. Right. Well, we've already spent a lot of money here. This might be a, a work in progress style thing too. But what we're going to do... I actually want that wall back there. No, I actually want that wall. I want, I want the wall. Back there. And I'm going to put in some big hospital double double door with windows i don't think we want metal oh we, metal sliding door no and they're they're odd they're odd doors by the way damn it odd doors odd door corridor that's not gonna work i wish i could just have some archways Corridors kind of need to be. We'll go with that. That'll be. This will be the. Uh... This is all going to be GPs in here now. We're going to switch this. Oh man. Rikies. Okay. Uh, we're in the planning phase here. Baldur's Gate Three is a great RPG. I want to get through the four. I because of the TV show. Okay. I was get. I'm going to be honest here. Because of the TV show. And, and I loved it. I've, I've got too much 
Fallout stuck in my head, and I, I need to play the games, I think, to get it out of my head. I need to play the games. It's been a long time since I played them, um, and I need to get them out of my head until season um, season two comes. Because then, then what we want to do... Rikies. Come on, Ham. What are you doing? Doing it. Then what we want to do is I want to get into the Mass Effect stuff that Amy and, Amy and I, we've spoken about this before. I don't know if Amy's still here, um, but we've spoken about the Mass Effect stuff too. So after Fallout, I would like to get into Mass Effect uh, because of the next game that potentially might be coming out next year or so or the year after. So I want to start getting into the playthrough series of those. And I want to get everyone up to date. Yeah, you're still here, Amy? Yeah, so I, yeah, Mass Effect's good. So I think what we're going to do in the evenings, we're going to kick off with Fallout 3. We're not, we're not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do 100% runs, but we are, I'm not going to not to do 100% runs. I'm just going to play organically through the game. Uh, we're going to pick an archetype for the game, for the character, for the characters, and we're kind of going to play to that style and work our way through um, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4. I don't think we'll do Fallout 76. We might do that as a multiplayer because Fallout 76 is multiplayer sometime down the track. Then we might, after those RPGs, we'll kick into Mass Effect um, and we'll get through that um, trilogy and then maybe into Andromeda as well. So that's probably going to be the evening streams going forward, which is going to take up a lot of time. Uh, in the evening, so that's that's the evenings kind of booked out for a while. The good thing, though, is I know for Amy, BC, you guys, when you're at work, you can kind of catch up on those vlogs a little bit later, or, or the streams a little bit later if you if you want to catch up with those, or if you're at work and you got time to tune in and say hi, that's brilliant. Too. But because Amy, I know, and BC, you've played those games, you'll kind of be fine with that, right? So. We're going to extend the corridor. Waiting room here. Corridor there. And you're going to have probably more um, radiology facilities out here. And microbiology over here. Waiting room for, uh, for biology. Here. Take that out for me. What size room is this? Eight. That's no good for anyone. I don't need a ten. Ten by eight, really? Uh, that's be bigger. That's what she said. I need you to be bigger. Why does it happen? Why did you guys start me on that? Damn it. Damn you. Uh, right, let's get the wall in. So. Right, so. Is that now a 10 by 10? Or have I just made that worse? 10 by 10. Okay, brilliant. Get rid of that. Um, okay. Good. This is going to work out much better. <laughs> MGL. I also cannot watch YouTube on the mower. Or the tractor should think about upgrading the model. Or here's a thought: get a big like, get a big bracket arm or something like. Get something where you can like bracket bracket on a phone holder, put the phone on, and then have the phone playing YouTube, <laughs> and then put the earphones in, and just off you go. And then you're with us always, and Jill, you're with us always. You can't work. Yeah, I understand that, Amy. I completely understand that. Hey, B, 
BC, what's your favorite Mass Effect? One, two, or three? Because I know you're not a fan of Andromeda. I liked Andromeda. But um, I know it wasn't your it wasn't your favorite out of them. But what was your favorite? One, two, or three? I think number two. I think I really enjoyed. Yeah, two. <laughs> I think two was really good. Two was your favorite. <laughs> Two's all around. I can't. I'm excited. Okay, so let's plan to kick off Fallout. Evening times, potentially starting Monday. Evening time's my time. Uh, so next week we'll start that playthrough. It'll give me time to prep up everything and get everything sorted. And that way, the good thing is it might bring a lot of you up to speed with the with the law and the um and uh, everything about fall the Fallout universe. So that's going in there. Right, okay, let's get this done. You're going to be a five. We might be able to fit four labs in there. Yeah. Good. Okay. Same over here. Um, I'm going to put... That's going to move out into here. So... Your waiting area. Oh, I need, okay, we need to just start punching this stuff in. So radiology, let's go. I want the new x-ray room. Actually, can I take this? How do I, where did I do that before where I copied it? If I take this, go like that, right? Uh, I did it here. This is what I want. Move a room, move a room to a selected area. Move room or area. I could just copy you, I guess, like this. Except I'm going to spin you. So the doors... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right, so, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove objects keeping walls intact. Uh, okay. I want to, um, game. Is it because there's still someone there? Is that what, is that what's happening? Yeah, could get out of there. Okay, this is no longer an x-ray room. Remove the room, please. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, that old x-ray room repurposed over here, so that's really good. Then we're going to put the CT room in there. Then we're going to actually have um, this waiting room is now going to be up in here. We're going to have a bigger waiting room for the radiology department. Potentially, we don't need a receptionist up there. We're going to just keep the receptionist at the front here like we've got. 
Um, so when it comes to radiology, where the next room we're going to get in, I don't. I wonder if we should get the coronary, coronary room in or the CT. I think I kind of want to get CT, then MRI, then um, cardiography, then sonography. But we could work our way down the list here, couldn't we? All right, we'll go CT room in here. That's going to be the CT room. Oh, we lost our um. Oops, we lost our um, radiologist. That's okay. We'll get a new one. Okay, so waiting room is going to be a nice, big, hefty, chunky waiting room just here for the moment. Uh, no ifs, buts, or anything about it. Um, and then what we're going to do, we're going to get... Um, you're going to have your own corridor. And it's going to go... Like such. Right? New department, new corridors, and such like that to there. I'm going to put in another wall here, right? Uh, no, it needs to be in line with that one, which is there. Symmetry. Symmetry. Uh, and then we're going to get the double doors again. These ones are going to go like that. Perfect. Okay. Because what we can do is that we can actually line bed trolleys in the corridor as well. So we've got a, we've got a space to do that. We can just put patients in the corridor. Brilliant. I love that we all said number two was our favorite. Because number one was brilliant, right? We all loved number one. It was an anticipated game when it came out. And then number two just built on everything Mass Effect did in number one. And oh boy, number two was so good. Just, you know, uh, what's his name? The guy that was like, uh, what's his name? The guy that was like in X-Files. He was always smoking in the game. And he was always like the rich billionaire guy that re kind of i'm not going to spoil it actually i don't want to spoil it for too many people that may never have seen it but try not to spoil it in chat either but what was his name again forget he reminded me of the guy out of x files right so in here now we're gonna go um can we put that there no, we cannot I will just have you like that for me. So, wait, you think not working now? Adventures. I'm going to keep them. Uh, vending machines will actually put some vending machines in, to be honest. Uh, we'll go a red one and a green one. We'll go a TV on the wall here so people can learn all about the insides of their body and how they get um, radiated. We'll put like some of these style, cafe style uh, tables and chairs in. Can I get a, do we have any plants in the corner? Yeah, plant please. No, you can't go there. You can go there. No, you can't. Okay, it's safe to say we're not going to use those. We're just going to go with a regular table there with some magazines on it if we can. Oh, glass drop sign. Uh, we're going to put that down here to say, hey, radiology department this way. Sure, whatever. What does that even say? I've got to get that clear. Is it say prescrip prescription drop off? I don't think we want that. Okay, we don't want prescription drop off. Thanks. I was hoping you'd be like glass sign advice. <laughs> if you're heading this way, bad luck. All right, coffee table there. Do we have some magazines? Magazines. Trauma tools? Okay, hang on. We just want stuff for in here, please. Not that. Yeah, okay. No magazines. Uh, 
Um, can we get another plant in the corner potentially? Maybe. See how we go. I would love... Now we don't need that. Lock on the wall so people can see how much they're running late. Daily menu. We don't need a daily menu. Pharmacy, pharmacy, pharmacy. Don't need that. Oh, wow. This is all outside stuff. Uh, oh, here we go. This is what we're after. Okay, we can put that stuff on the wall. Okay. Holy moly. Okay, we don't need that. Fruit juice. Why would we put fruit juice on that table? I'll just go a couple of more benchies in like this. And that will be that. That's the waiting room done there for the moment. That plant can go in that corner. Okay. We'll worry about the rest of it later. Flooring and stuff can happen later too. Um... Then in here, let's get this stuff in. So the CT machine is the biggest bit of kit. So we're going to go, um, where are we putting the door, mind you? Rockies, that's a big bit of machinery. I think we might need to make that room bigger. I didn't realize it was that big. That's what she said. The elusive man, Amy. That was his name. Oh, he reminded me so much. This is not going to work, I don't think. This needs to be a little bit bigger. Damn it. Well, I tell you what. Not going to be that department then. We're going to actually make this a different department. We'll see what else we can fit in here. Uh, let's put the door on too. Let's go uh, this one like that. Um, okay. Let's see what department we can make that. That might be... Maybe the CAG room might be a touch smaller. Yeah, yeah, okay. This might work out a little bit more in our favor. No, it's still quite big. Like the, the, Do you want these to be in 5x5? Five five? You need to give me a little bit more room in here, I think. Might be okay like that. What I'm hoping to do is get a, a get like like what we did over here, get like a slight wall in. What if we do something like that? Can we just do that? Alright. Does, does that work or not? I don't know if that's if there is a blue does that mean it works no that that doesn't work what does it just mean i need looks like you need to be like lined up on the back of that do you is that how that no Why have you got an arrow in and an arrow out? And then this has got an arrow in.
I'm just going to put you there for a moment. Because we might... Yeah, it's not working. This is really complicated to see. I need to make this room bigger. No, nothing. We, yeah, these rooms are too. They say five by five, but it's unless I. I just can't have the person. I just can't have the wall. I don't think. Now, if I rotate you that way. I don't, I don't know if that works. Right, that works. Okay, they need to be together. That's what the trouble is. Can I get a bit of view here? Um, potentially that way. Right, okay, so the screen and the control panel need to work together. Okay, that's fine. So now if I get you in there, I get you um, in there. Okay, then I might be able to get you spun like that. That corner. And I might actually get the thing I need here. Which is, can I now get a wall there? Yes. Okay, cool. Right. I'll go with um, just the half of those again all the way along like that. Okay. And then what else do we need in here? We need to get a desk with a laptop. Eek. Or we can throw a cabinet in here, potentially. Maybe we get rid of the wall. Yeah, okay. Wall, yeah, wall's not going to work. Okay, laptop. You're just going to have a laptop in here. No, you're not. That cabinet's no good. This is a tight space. That's what she said. The elusive mare. Oh. Well, Shepard. That's how, you know, he had that really, that really low tone, gro low growling tone, always darkly lit, smoke pouring out. Oh, it's it just, it's an iconic memory. I'll always just, in, in terms of gaming, I'll always remember. The elusive man. Choices matter. Is there some kind of a desk here I can put in? Can I put a desk on that? I'm just trying to find the smallest thing I because these desks are quite big, right? What about an equipment table? Can you have a PC on that? You can, but you need a printer and stuff too, don't you? Ah, uh, that's not going to work. This room's way too small. Oh, okay, that works. Do you need a printer? You don't need a printer. This might actually, we might actually pull this off here. Mobile cabinet, can that fit in here? Yeah, 
it works okay it works it's a tight space but budgets okay budgets um okay flooring wise we're going to go with um a simple um we're gonna go with the gray floor in here All right we are gonna make the walls tiled i think with the big tile It just seems like the kind of room that would have probably more tiles than not. Okay, that's how we're going to go with that. That's that clinic done. Boy, oh boy. That's it. <laughs> Stop. No. <laughs> that's what she said. Hello there. <laughs> Right, we're going to continue our blue floor through here as well, by the way. Is it that color? No, actually, radiology department. Let's go with green floors in here. So radiology has the green floors. It goes general practice blue into radiology green. into biology we'll go like pink or something for the biology into that section the floors in here we're going to keep our waiting room floors right and then the walls now we had the green stripes in there didn't we um we're actually going to switch because it's green on the blue we're actually going to switch to the blue on the green Ah, 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 ah. Although we should keep it all the same, same, shouldn't we? So we should do green in the first section, then green in... Um, yeah, okay. My bad. We should actually match the floors with the walls. Match the floors with the walls. Okay. Right, so that's all that done. Radiology, uh, so we've got x-ray room, we've got uh, the cardiology room. Um, with this room, cardiology, I just want to see if there's like um, posters that we can put up about. Oh, wait, hang on. What, what room is this again? Yeah, it's the CAG room. Uh, I want to see if there's like specific posters that you can put up for it not really I test no we don't want that wheelchair a couple of wheelchairs poster on your heart I think that's what we want in here Like that right this is what we're checking today all right that big pump in your body make the carpet match the drapes amy <laughs> don't cheeky <laughs> okay crikey's crikey's right that uh, waiting room is going to exist no more so i'll get rid of that shortly um what we'll do here is I just want to extend this current board that there. Right, good, good, good. And then we'll have more radiology department stuff out this way soon. Um yes, good. Biology. Right, so 
Okay, this is... I'm going to paint the room up first. Okay, this is in my mind. We take this biology lab and we put it in here and it's 5x5. Five five. And then over here we have three more 5x5s, five five which will give us one big laboratory with different workspaces, but they're all looking like they're in the one laboratory. And that's kind of what I want to go for there. So let's get... Um, get uh, that and um, yeah, this is what I want and that and then this I don't know why I can't move I, I actually you know what go back to this and put the um, the tiles back on the, let's do the let's do the paint work first Do we want L panels in this? Probably not. We just need tiles, don't we? Right. Keeping it all very clinical. Floors wise, that's light tinted medium tiles. Yeah, we're going to go with this. Is that got it? They look like bathroom tiles. I'm, I'm keen to keep them though. We'll keep them. Although that looks fully colored medium tiles. Ooh, that could be fun. Hey, that's better. Cool. Blue for law. Right? Blue for biology. B for B. Yeah. Um. What are you missing? Missing stuff. Okay, yeah, I know we're missing stuff. We're not we're not worried about that yet. Okay, so now. No, 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 no. We'll do the doors and stuff later. We'll, no, put the doors on now. Last door here. Then we're gonna go all of the panels like that. And when we drop that up, the clinic looks like that. Although I got to be honest, I don't like that right next to it. So probably gonna shift those. The tall ones might be better. I don't. I kind of don't want tall ones there though. This is kind of the look I wanted to go for, like that. Maybe we'll keep it like that, I think. Yeah, okay. We'll keep it like that. I don't know if that's going to help us with anything, but whatever. Uh, now this. Let's see if we can move that room now. I want to copy the room. This, I want to move... Move a so move a room or selected area. That's just not a thing. No. Okay, so just copy this. Okay, except um, you've put the walls in and stuff. Damn it. And you put the walls in. Okay. Get my little copy. Right. Come back to this. So the first lab is here. Cool. Cool bananas. I lost my cabinet above. Does that matter? I don't think it matters. What we might actually do is we might go with a shared sink for everyone. So maybe I need to re-put this stuff in. Yeah, I'm going to re-put the stuff in to see how this goes for a second. Are you re-downloaded re Celeste Crown on the... Um, Magister, how was it? Have they have they done many updates to it, Amy? I'm gonna read it all of this. I've got an actual idea in here. 
Uh, I don't know. No, no, actually, you know what? We'll leave it. Okay, so we're going to go with um, next. Next one in here is going to be the... Um, we see microbiology is going to be here. Um, that, was that hematology? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And then this, histology. And this one here, I'm actually going to move that to that corner. And then we, okay, this is going to work out better for us, actually. Um, so hematology is going to be in this corner. And then um, nothing in that corner. And I'll show you why. Because this will actually end up being a shared space with them, which will actually be better. Okay, so we're going to have hematology, microbiology, and then waiting room is going to be in here. Going to be four by nine, five by nine, five by ten. That's corridor just there. Um, and your corridor section is going to go here. All right, it's going to meet back up with that. I don't know what's going to happen down in here yet. We're going to leave that for a while. In fact, I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to wall it off because it costs a lot of money. Okay, we're running out of money quick fast. I'm going to drop that wall. I'm going to remove these. Okay, these sections here. Now we go... And uh, our corridor here can actually go back to how it was. That waiting room can actually go. Is that the radiology waiting room? Ah, uh, yeah. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then go general corridor. Bang. Okay, good. That's back to that. I'll fix these. These um, We're going to get another GP in as well. And then, so up in here now. All right, let's start with you. I kind of want to have shared area. I don't know how this is going to work, okay? I don't know how this is going to work. I want to just see if they will utilize shared wash stuff. Don't know if they will. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, for the moment. Then I'm going to have dual each for them. We'll go with um, these just like like that. Right. We can all have a PC. Right. In fact, I might move you to there and um, can I get rid of that? Back that PC. Right. Oh, you got a dodgy PC. That uh, see it there. Right, and um, a printer. Sure. Let's see if. I'll see if one printer does between all of them. I don't know if that will or not, but we'll see. It says that the printer... No, it's not there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look at that. That might have got that working. Okay, now you got a printer. So they all need a printer each. We click on you. Yeah, you're done, you're done, you're done. So that's their workstations, right? That's their shared workspace. 
Oh, they've got four or so DLCs. Crikey's. That was a good... Is it, um... Is that game, um... What's the combat style in that again? Um, what's it called? Because it's not, um... It's not action, is it? It's, um... It's not an action RPG. It's, a uh, A dice roll, isn't it, that one? Turn base, yeah, that's it. Alright, so you, buddy, you're gonna have a sample fridge in that corner again. Like that. You are gonna have a lab desk here and here, right? That's gonna be your equipment. And your glass. Glassware, that one. Right. Then you're going to have uh, your buyer. I don't know if biohazard bins are going to be shared or not. They're not shared. That is super annoying. Lab sink. They did have these. The half lab desk cabinet. These look kind of cool, I'll be honest. And I'm hoping that they you can get maybe a couple in. You don't need them. But whatever. That there. Get you the uh, biohazard bin, which can go there. And that you pretty much filled out in your department. Your department. Same sort of same sort of deal. I'm gonna have you there and up there. And we're gonna go medical medical centrifuge there microscope there lab analyzer there you're gonna have the different glassware there and a stool analyzer okay gotta check them poof and you've got your own sink which we're gonna put the two sinks next to each other to make this look like a thing like that Biohazard bins are going to sit next to your desk, actually, like this, right? So that works out nice and nice like that. And you're going to have a sample fridge, um, probably there. And that's that. Right. And then they've got a lot of space in here too, by the way. Works out well for them. Uh, and then in here... Let's get uh, that there. That there. You get a microscope. You got this fume hood thing. What the heck is this thing? That's a bit of a kit. And then the sample fridge can go next to it. And you don't need that desk, but I'll leave it there for you. Just in case we need to put stuff in. So that's our biology lab, which actually comes out pretty good. Now, if we want, we can throw some decorative stuff in here later. Uh, but that's pretty much that. I'm actually kind of happy with that. They got a little room in there, actually, compared to this department. <laughs> what we need to do is get their um, waiting room sorted out. So we're going to take that wall down. Okay, I'm glad we redid this. And you know what? I'm going to extend their waiting room to be there like that. That wall comes out, which means the corridors all line up now. Right. Okay, that's good. Your department's going to be red. Okay, so this uh, hematology lab no longer exists. There you go. Get floors in for that. And the color of their corridors are going to be what? We've got blue, green, and we're going with... Do we say pink or maybe we go yellow?
Lello. Hank. Buddy. Hank, um, Hank likes to lick. Um, and it's really loud, like it's... And it's just like, please. And it's 24-7. Uh, then we're back into blue corridor, aren't we? Kind of that. It's kind of that mauve color. Mauve. We're going to make it mauve. <laughs> what do you got? Mauve. Uh, don't start him. Don't start. I'm lost. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. That. Cool. I get all turned around when I'm sort of doing this here. I haven't done those walls, which are green, the mint green. Ah, uh, and that one. That. This door up in here, I didn't do that. Wild, please. Very long. Okay. Cool, that actually looks good. I'm happy with that. I don't know about the doors. I don't know if you can make the doors like... Oh, that... The, 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 the doors? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, except you can only make them that color on the one side. The other side has to suffer through and be that. I don't care. I'd like patience to actually... Actually, the red probably is better because it's like, oh, there's a door. I'll leave it. I'm going to leave the other one. Okay, that's the hospital painted up and ready to go. Or the clinic, anyway. Okay, let's get this um, waiting room waited out. Please take a ticket and wait. And you're going to have red chairs... Because, why not? And you're going to sit like you're on a bus. I don't care, you will like it. You can have a TV on that wall. In fact, you know what actually might look good there? Just a little nib wall. Like that. Up back a bit further. Some half walls would be good to put in. But that wall, um... Gets a TV on it like that. It's a TV there, and uh, oh, Mr. Coffee there. You can have a Mr. Coffee, and then we're going to need some trash cans. Trash canneries. It's a trash can there. Trash can there. And a trash can there. Cool. Boy, oh boy, that took some time, but I think it was well worth it doing that way. So this, <laughs> but wait, there's more. The GP section here, this is the very tight little waiting room here now. We might need to expand the waiting room stuff, uh, but whatever. Whatever, Trevor. This department, what are you telling me you don't have? Oh, you don't have staff. Yeah, I know that. I know that. We're going to get another GP in as well. We're 46,000, so we've done all right. We're just going to copy one of these and paste it straight in here and be done. I need to just fix this room first. So we need to go remove that door. 
Get rid of that wall. Right, and um, take this room. Doctor's office. Uh, can we please get... Uh, doctor's office. I want to go from here. Uh, and your door doesn't go that way. It goes there. Brilliant. Hey, look at us doing things. So we got three GPs now. Oh, that, that room in there needs to go. All that equipment. I just trash it all. Ken, brilliant. There's someone still sitting on there. Can you get up and leave? Get out. Get out. Right, that will be repurposed eventually. It's just going to be a nothing room now. Um, okay, time to get actually you. You, Barbara. Ba, 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 Barbara. Um, can I tell you? Good. Barbara is now re employed. I think we're right to go into employee again, aren't we? So, Barbara is back. Guess who's back? Back again. Barbara's back. Tell your friends. <laughs> Turn based. Um, I've still got to get through. I've been doing a little bit of Dragon's Dogma, but I haven't been back to that since it first came out. I haven't had time. So let's go. Uh, all these are about, everyone's about the same. So I think we'll go, what's our uh, Frank 62 for 272. Oh, heck yeah, we're going to go Frank. What do we need for that department? We just need... Hang on. For the... What is it? Hematology. You... Advanced. We've got no one with advanced. Your neurology, we don't need that. I think we'll go with um okay. and then in here got no one with advanced still, which kinda sucks. We're gonna get Karen Young in, I think. She's a junior scientist, so I think Karen's gonna be good in there. We've also got Karen Rodriguez here, but we're going to go with Karen Young. A lot of Karens in the world. All right, so that's done. Then, let's go here. And in here, we're going to go with ooh, biochemistry, radiology. We need um, we need a half decent. Well, it's only x rays. So we're going to go with. Um, we're going to go with Frank Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, we're going to go with, uh, we're going to go with, well, I think we'll go with, um, Peter. Right. Are we ready to open again? All departments are ready. Let's hit the play button and see how that goes. Okay. Okay. Everyone's set. Departments are done. A clinic patient is about to leave. Ah, uh, wait. I didn't get the GP in. Okay, pause. We need an extra GP here. So, um, we need someone that's half decent. 
like half. Here you go, Sarah Young. Get in there, Sarah. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Let's uh, speed up because now we can see more patients. Brilliant. This poor bloke's been sitting here for hours and hours. You should get a turn now, soon, soon, surely. Clinic opening hours and <laughs> clinic opening hours have ended. Okay, everyone, get out. Look, we've got increased capacity now. Their workspace is huge, but they should be done for a long time now. Look, in all honesty, we could probably put some radiology stuff in here, but I'll, I'll leave that, okay? Because I think here, we're done with everything. We have that as a shared room, can we? Does that take that away from you? It does. How do I say share the room? Shared rooms one. Okay, whatever. I think you will share it anyway. Regard yeah, you do. You all use the room. All good. Let's get through the day. And let's see what happens tomorrow. Okay. Let's go. Everyone, get out. We've got work to do tomorrow. You too. Stop canoodling on the couch. Canoodlers. How far through it are you, Amy? Did you finish it before? Let's skip tonight. Renovation of a nearby clinic causes 40% more patients to come to emergency. Lucky we... Oh, maybe we should get in another doctor, but we won't. Three doctors should be sort of enough, you would think. So, let's see how we go. We're not going to do anything today, but just watch what happens. Although, <laughs> I would like to put in more x-ray facility stuff but we'll hold out for the moment everyone's off to work everyone start doing it i like this little workstation for these three i think that's really good i think it kind of would be a little bit realistic and they'd all like compare notes and do all that sort of jazz yeah okay, we got patients coming we're gonna have 40 percent more patients today too remember that patient with incorrect diagnosis uh Diagnosis returns. Go to that patient. Hey, what's wrong with you? Diana. Or Dana. What's wrong with you, Dana? Dana. Dana. Simple fracture of tibia. Okay, let's see how you go. Let's see what Dr. No Idea has to say about it. You know, we could have an interim spare. We could put a we could put a simple CT room just in here, just until we because oh, we don't need another GP in here. We could literally get that in now. We could li literally get we got the CAG room, cardiograph unit, or maybe ultrasound would be better. Let's go with ultrasound. Um, let's just get this simple, yeah, exam room here. Let's get this in, uh, right? Um, and that way we can... Um, that exam table's not working yet. Okay, don't know why, whatever. I know elastograph goes there, does it? Right, what else do you need? You will need a 
mandatory equipment for it. Yeah, I'm trying to find the mandatory equipment, but it doesn't seem to be... What are you missing? Shockwave therapy and equipment table. All right, so you go there, and that goes there. That's got all of those hooked up now. Okay, brilliant. We're just going to get this ultrasound thing in and dusted. You can have a glass table in this room. You're going to have a PC. You're going to have a stool to roll around. I like the stools because they kind of can roll around on them and do what they need to do. Roll, roll. You know, you sit on your stool and you push over and you roll over and you go, right, do the ultrasounding. Better. Get you a dressing room. Um, I don't... I'll be honest, I don't think we want windows and glass doors here for people that have ultrasounds. Uh, so we'll fix that shortly. Let's get you in a uh, biohazard bin can be at the door. We'll get you mobile equipment cabinet. Yeah. Um, printer can go there. Uh, scrub sink can go yeah and that's all that so let me fix this um get rid of these windows yeah we might just just to get a little extra department in for today ultrasound just might help out but they've got a tv have they not i put a tv up here and i put a wall here amy for the tv here um see i, I put a little nib wall right uh where is it yeah um, i've got a little nib wall here and then the x-ray people over here have a TV up there with a clock. Okay. Um, oh, are you talking about... Yeah, yeah. The, uh, these waiting room people have a TV there as well. Uh, I just want to get rid of these windows. Oh, you meant the room with the glass walls. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, well... The waiting room people have to watch something. Yeah, this is the waiting room here. They've got a TV. The staff, they just play solitaire on their computers. They don't actually analyze anything. If that's, I don't know if that's what you mean. Get rid of that door and give me a... Um... Oh... Oh, <laughs> you, do, you want to, do you want to put some glass windows here? <laughs> and I'll put the changing room there. <laughs> That's a bit rude. <laughs> I see what you mean. I'm a bit slow, aren't I? Man, I'm slow. You can have, you know what, just for that, you can have a door with a window. Are you guys done in there yet? Ultrasound? Oh, whoops. Sorry, shouldn't have looked. Get your surprise. Okay, um, come back to this one and go. Hey, buddy, need someone with ultrasound. You're expensive. Got 39, you're expensive. You got 7%. We're going to go with um, Michael Jones. Get to work. Okay, so we got, look, our radiology department's not big. Oh, we've already got someone in radio in uh, ultrasound. Okay, crikey's. Right, whatever. Let's see how many people we can churn and burn through today. 40% increase. Go. It's a good game, I reckon. What are we at? Nine. We might need to get some more waiting chairs, hey? Everyone's coming in to eat their lunch, all the staff. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? We'll have a look later. We'll get through this day. I wanted to put the decals on the wall, but I can do that later. Can 
keep saying our uh, our cleaner has no workspace, but you do so, okay? You've got plenty of workspace. Get to work. A clinic patient is about to leave. Clinic patient has been seen by a doctor. For, uh, hasn't been seen by a doctor for a very long time. Okay, pause. Oh, you're waiting for an interview. Nothing I can do for you at the moment. Uh, this ultrasound room will move up over here eventually. But for now, it, that's the space it's going to occupy. Yes. 20 people done. 50,000 government grant, which is good because we needed the money. Have you been seen yet, buddy? Yes, you are. There you go. Pork tapeworm. That sounds gross. <laughs> Get your tapeworm out of here. The clinic has closed for patients. There was still one patient waiting. This lady. Okay. Well, I think considering that we had a 40% increase in patients, I think we did pretty well. We still only got... Oh, we got through 25 today. So we hit our limit. Right. Let's have a look here. Yeah, we did pretty well. I wonder if we should get an... I don't think we should get an ambulance yet. I don't think we should get an ambulance yet. If anything, we probably need more G... Well, I don't think we need more GPs. Um... Right. Good. How you got... Are you guys enjoying this game? It's quite... It, it gets really good, trust me. It's when we, Especially when we start to get to surgical departments, all the emergency, like... It's like we get a rush of people coming in for surgeries and disease control and stuff it get it'll get pretty intense so it's it's imperative that we have a good setup there'll be people there'll be trolleys getting pushed in ambulances rocking up it gets pretty cool we're gonna have to be ready for that um it's a very slow start like the way we've started to get everything set up but it will be good it will be good you haven't lost a patient yet. I know, look at that. Trust me. Trust me, Amy. It will come. We, we will end up losing lots of patients. Daily news. Patient numbers and insurance payments are back to normal. What we'll do is before we, we're going to, we're going to max out the radiology department before we move anywhere. And then what we're going to do when we get the radiology department up here, we might do some kind of corridor through here, which goes into another facility or, or the corridor straight down here into another section here, which will probably then start to facilitate intensive care or general surgery. Like they're the next ones we're getting to. Gen um, we're getting in uh, ICU and uh, general surgery or we might go a floor up yet i don't know i don't know yet how we're gonna do that so this here this section here might become elevators even or lifts lifts right we might lift them up so that might be that section right. and we're gonna do that tomorrow ah gang what a great what a great game i love this friggin game we're gonna punch through this hospital and probably lose a lot of people <laughs> to be honest <laughs> um all right everyone thanks for hanging out today had a really enjoyable day um i love this game we'll be back tomorrow with a bit more um good night everyone get some good rest have a good day at work tomorrow Stay safe, stay glued to your screen, and we'll be back with some more Project Hospital tomorrow. Get out of here.